And I want to welcome you here today. What a fantastic, great turnout. We have more than 600 people here. So thank you very much. As I said, we're going to have almost 550 people work around the county this uh, wonderful day. The sun's going to come out a little bit uh, later. It's kind of nice that you have a nice cool atmosphere to work during the morning, get a little warmer this afternoon, get some sunshine on you. Um, and we have to thank you for what you're going to do today. The member agencies and the organizations that you're going to help today would not have things accomplished if you would not do them. It just would go undone. So thank you for the effort that you're going to put in. At this point in time, I would like to introduce Holly Green and the Elkhart Lake Choir. They are going to start off the day with our national anthem. So could you please stand and remove your hands? She is the dean of UW 
Sheboygan, Washington, and Waukesha County. So she is all over the southeastern part of the state. And Joel, as many of you know, is the uh, superintendent of the school district of Sheboygan. So without further ado, I please, please have a round of applause for Jackie and Joel. Okay, what are we going to start the morning out with? Well, first of all, I had some words I was going to say, but I talked to some of you and you said, inspire us, Joe. <laughs> Seriously, look to your left, look to your right. You are a Sheboygan. You know, we talk about Sheboygan, yeah, it's a great community. It is, but why? Because of you. Because of people that understand I have to give back. The people that understand that my time is important to give. The people that model to our youth, our little kids, stuff to bigger kids, that this is an important thing to do. The most important is your attitude. And look, you're here, I'm sure actually, you don't have to admit it, you got out of bed going, yeah, I get to do Dave Karen today. Thanks. That's what makes you boy and you boy. So I hope that's a little bit inspiring because quite frankly, you know we couldn't do any of this without you. You are the backbone. And lastly, I also hope, you know, when you got up this morning and tonight when you go to bed and you develop aches and pains. You're smiling. You know, it's not just great giving back to the community. Hopefully in your heart you're going, hey, I've done something good today. And you do. And especially if you, you do it all the time. So we have to go, not just our kids, but the whole county, our whole Sheboygan community. Thanks for what you do. This is really, you are Sheboygan. So thanks. And now I'm 
going to turn things over to Randy Suero. Thank you. Well, this is the time where everybody looks down and goes, who the heck is this guy? <laughs> and believe me, when I get up at 5.30 in the morning, I wonder, what the heck am I doing? Uh, welcome, but first I would like to invite somebody to come out here. Emily, where are, is Emily over there yet? Could I have her come here? I'd like to thank Emily personally uh, last year. You are all aware of at the end of the day today. We hope we'll see you all at Tate Sheboygan at Fountain Park. We know you all have some food tickets in your uh, gift bag for today. We don't know that we've got it. <laughs> Gee, Santa, you told me what I'm getting for Christmas. Uh, I would say that there's nobody more committed to anything than Emily has been to the aid of this organization and be to, to sharing the message and attitude of everybody in this place. Uh, if there's anybody here, I appreciate you raise your hand, that is going to have a baby today, because that's what she did last year. She went and had a baby after our day. <laughs> and for those of you who have seen her baby, she not only had one, but she had, I think, the cutest little guy in the morning. Don't you think? I love him. <laughs> I'm up to offering her $65, and she still won't let me have him. I've never paid the babysit before, but I'm willing to. That'll be a raffle item for next year. All right, I'll be here. Thank you, Emily, for everything you've done. You know, you're uh, thank you, thank you. Before I get into this introduction of our special guest, I just want to mention, I have a, a family member who just moved from Los Angeles to Sheboygan. They wanted a change of life. They've been here now uh, a year, uh, a husband and a wife. The wife has never lived out of Los Angeles. And the first thing she said to me after two weeks was, Sheboygan isn't a real city, it's a Disney movie set. And everybody here is acting and they're all incredibly nice. And I said, no, that's the way we all are here. And then one day, we were at an event, and you might relate to this, she was taking a picture like this. And I walked over and I said, can I ask what you were doing? She said, I was just taking a picture of the sky to send all my family in Los Angeles. <laughs> Think about it, you'll get it, okay. <laughs> the other thing, and this sums it up, and this, this represents all of you, this statement that she said to me. The biggest challenge I've had here is a four-way stop. <laughs> in Los Angeles, you pull up to one and the other guys all look at you like, go ahead, make my day. <laughs> here you get to a four-way stop and you look around and everybody's got their hand in the windshield going like this. <laughs> she gotcha. said, and then the most interesting thing is, so you go this far, then they all do too. <laughs> So, traffic isn't as insane as L.A., but getting through a four-way stop is more of a challenge here, because we all, go ahead, go ahead, anyway. And uh, I'm hoping by next year, and I'm working on this, I'm hoping I can get every guy a complimentary uh, treatment of what I'm working on in my basement with, uh, with the chemist, which is Brat Fry Cologne. <laughs> I mean, ladies, wouldn't you? The guy walks into some place, He's got brown fly cologne, and he goes, hey. <laughs> we'll be appearing at every baseball game. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, for those of you who have not been here before, we have our incredible, incredible champions who represent the companies that some of them that are on, the, on your shirt, and for all of those who have grown in an international platform from our Sheboygan in my lifetime, it's just amazing. Our special guest today, let's see, we'll take first off, coming, coming wearing a, a wonderful bun, I'm sure it's made in Sheboygan too, but there is nothing finer for breakfast, lunch, or dinner than a Johnsonville brat. That's right, come on out of here, brat man. <laughs> Thank you. 
And you've got to admire anybody who can have one eyebrow with mustard and one with ketchup. You've got to admire. All right, and then also, somebody who makes things happen more than we would ever imagine, and the things, we don't even know. We drive by the building and go, what are they doing in there? From Plastic Engineering, the chemist, Leo the chemist, come on out, Leo. And you owe my technical advisor on Brock Dry Cologne. And okay, from a company that just dominated the world at what they do, and uh, somebody told me that they were in a shower the other day, and all they had to say was call home, and their cell phone called home, and they stood in the shower and talked. Oh my God, I hope I get to have one of those someday. But okay, coming from Kohler, Moxie, come on down from Kohler Company. That's it, that's it. Wow, Moxie, I'm taking back. If I spun around twice in that suit, I'd be laying the whole place. All right, and what else do we need if we're going to have a brat and we're going to sit around with a chemist and we've got something to shower in afterwards, which is always wonderful. Let's have a little bit of cheese here from Sergeant Could, could I have the traveling trophy? Do we have the traveling trophy? Is that it sitting there? Can we get that out here? Last year, now we've done this for I think it's four years, three years, something like that. You guys haven't aged, aged at all. You just look great. Except maybe the switch might have aged a little, but that's good. That's a good start. Uh, this is the traveling trophy. This trophy is awarded to the fastest, most agile of these characters behind us here. They're all looking and going, what, did I, what am I doing? Anyway, this trophy last year, it says on here, 2016 Sargento Foods. That's the Sargento Hawk of And of course, 2015, which is when the traveling trophy was created, from 2015 was Moxie from Kohler Company. Now, they're going to they're gonna participate in an Olympic event here, which is sanctioned by the UACA, YLDA, EAEIO. Uh, and uh, they're going and they're gonna also be introduced this afternoon or later today at 6.30 at Pace. So be down there because we'll probably do a punt pass and kick competition. There's no admission to Pace, but it's worth it just to see that punt pass and kick competition. So, Madam Trophy Master, would you take these characters where they begin their event? And I think they begin back here. Are you going to do in front of me right here, I think? They're going to lead you over. Follow that wonderful young lady there. And here we go. Emily, this is, Emily says, of all the things I do, this is one of them. Uh, okay, so here we go. We're going to have one race. It's sort of a grudge, a grudge match. That's why they have put the Moxie over there next to Sarge. But Leo's ready. Uh, Leo's got a new hairstylist here. Combed it earlier. And of course, Brockman. See, that this, you get that Brockman in front of me, I'd win any race in America. With this figure, you know. All right, are you... What are you? You characters ready? Get set. First one through here is going to win the trophy. Sorry. Get set. Go! Okay, here we go. We got seven. I can't believe, I'll be thinking about this one all day. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, a Brock got away from a guy, and won. Brock man, congratulations to him. All right, here comes the trophy. And that trophy now will be available for us all to drive out to Johnsonville and say, I want to see the trophy. And they'll welcome you. Congratulations. It's incredible. Yeah, you stop talking to me. I'm getting here. <laughs> they talk to me, but normally after I eat them. But anyhow, thank you all again. We'll see you throughout the day. And uh, be safe, all of you. Thanks again. We'll see you tonight. <laughs> well, I'm going to turn the mic back to Tom. Thank you all for coming out. As I said, we have a great group here today. 
And uh, thank you all for making Sheboygan a better place in Sheboygan County what it is, a place where everybody should want to live. Thank you all. Scott Segal, excuse me, is going to come up from the Sporting A's and have a couple words. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Wildwood Park, home of the Sheboygan A's. <laughs> You know, the United Way is a great community partner, as all of you are as well, and I know you're going to go out in the community and have a great day supporting Sheboygan and Sheboygan County. And the Sheboygan Athletic Club and the Sheboygan A's are also a great community partner. We've been around since 1963, serving baseball for the community and the community as, as a whole. We developed this park back in 1982, we started baseball at the high school. We started youth baseball in the community. We, the, the park is used by both high schools, Sheboygan North and South, as well as the Allegiant program. And it is also the home all summer long of the Sheboygan A's baseball. So if you've never come out to the park and you've never seen an A's game or a high school game, please, in 2018, come out. It's a great fan experience. And we do a lot of things like you just saw with the mascot races and games on the field. And, and speaking of brats, that's the number one seller out of our out of our concession stand. Uh, maybe Bud Light's a little bit better than that. So we, we, we love uh, Bud Light. So please come on out to the park. We're in the process of doing a major renovation here, and we're always looking at raising money for that effort. New lighting, new parking all new concession facilities, and we have some wonderful community partners that are helping with that. But come on out this Saturday to help us, because we're going to have a Brock Fry out at Meese Fields from 9 to 2.30, so you can support, support Sheboygan Baseball and the Sheboygan A's for, uh, by coming out to Meese Fields on Saturday and have one of those great Brockers. So thank you all for coming. Have a great day, and uh, support the community. Thank you, Mary At this time, I would just like to recognize our partner agencies. Uh, our partner agencies are the people that we give money to and invest in, and with the money that you give, the money that you support us with, and the entire community, that's where the money goes. So at this point in time, if our partner agencies could just give away so everybody can recognize them. Thank you very much. And the last thing that we'd like to do, and this might be a little difficult, but we'd like to get a group, a group photo with everyone. So uh, what I'm going to ask is if we could take off your jackets so we could see all those great yellow shirts. And if we could slide as far over as we can this way and this way, we're going to get a group photo of everyone. So if you could help us out with that, we would appreciate it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he loved it.
Very good. If group leaders and team leaders can come out on the field here and get yourselves together, and then the team leaders and group leaders can get all their volunteers. Again, thank you everyone for volunteering. Have a great day today.